Pastor Mark Harper is going to be at the Root Kidman Collective, and he's going to be sharing his secret sauce for children's ministry, which he shared that it's going to result in 60% or the majority of kids staying plugged into church and into God in their teen and college years. I couldn't wait. I had to share it with you as soon as I finished editing it. So check this out. Oh, wrong button. I am so excited that next week, seven days from now, you all will be able to glean from Pastor Mark wisdom and his experience and just the amazing stories he has equipping kids to flow with the Spirit and be grounded in the Word. So, Pastor Mark, share a little bit about this next week. Well, hey, uh, thank you, uh, Josh, and uh, I'm excited to be joining you and Kate in the uh, Root Kid Men Collective uh, a week from now and talking about um, what I consider to be the, the things that really matter in kids' ministry. I mean, there's lots of stuff you can talk about in kids' ministry, and of course, the uh, the conferences and the Facebook pages are full of all the little different detailed questions and the problems that we have and all that. But ultimately, it does boil down to that uh, kids are spiritual beings. And as kids pastors, we're, we have the opportunity to influence them at a very influential time in their life. Uh, and so I'm going to be talking about uh, following the Holy Spirit in your teachings, getting kids filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, and I'm going to be sharing with you my secret, what I call my secret. Uh, you know, we always see the statistics. It depends on who you listen to. You know, some people say um, that 80% of the kids that grow up in the church leave the church. I've heard it as high as 90%. You know, it all depends on who you listen to. I think, um, and I'm not sure how people do their math on that, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah so, I've heard the same, anywhere from 75 to 90. I just saw one that was 94% this, this last yeah. week when I was digging around. Yeah, so you'll see it all over the place. But I don't think that um, anybody would argue with the fact that today kids are leaving the church in greater numbers uh, than ever before. Uh, kids that grow up in the church and ironically, this is at the same time that um, more money is being poured into kids ministry than ever. Now, when I started, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but when I started, <laughs> I was the only full time kids pastor in the whole state of Michigan. They were just, you know, kids ministries were just sort of just very underfunded. Uh, and um, today, I, it, it feels like the church has more money than it ever has. More money, you, you see these multi-million dollar buildings being built, and I'm grateful for all of that, mm -hmm. uh, but we're actually being less effective, and I believe that we're being less effective because we're, we're not focusing on the things that really, really matter, uh, and so I'm going to talk about that, and then uh, my secret, if you will, uh, I, I was able to identify a group of kids at our church that where I saw that 60% of them, because I've been doing this a long time. I've, you know, uh, Generation X, Millennials, and now teaching Generation Z. So this is the third generation I've seen grow up in the church that I've had an opportunity to teach. And, and um, but I've seen where 60% of the kids will stay in church if you just do this one thing. Uh, and so now it takes a lot of work. The reason people don't do it is because it's work. <laughs> And, uh, but um, that's what I'm going to talk about. So uh, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be really good. Looking forward to connecting with everybody all across the country and grateful to Josh and Kate for asking us to minister. Thank you. I can't wait. That's going to be so good. All right. I'll see you all there. Isn't that awesome? I can't wait to share with you. I can't wait to be part of that and grow and learn from this leader in children's ministry. He's been doing it for decades. He has the history. He's got the experience. He has the connection with God and the ability to bring it to the kids and to the team that I crave for my ministry, for the things that God's called me to be involved in. And I know it's the same way for you. So if you haven't signed up yet, you gotta go to rootkidman.com slash collective 
and roll or register now, however you want to phrase it. And don't miss out on this opportunity. He's going to be teaching exactly one week from today. So his session will be 9 a.m. Eastern. You got to get signed up. We have some amazing, amazing speakers. Really, uh, I can't, I, I can't give it away. It's, it's just, there's so many great speakers and so many great conversations that are about to happen next week. And I really don't want you to miss any of them because as I've been chatting with the speakers this week, oh my word, get ready for your socks to be blown off, for you to be challenged to grow spiritually and put uh, priorities into the things that God is really highlighting right now, really speaking that these are the things that he wants his kids equipped in. And we want to give that opportunity to you to grow and know and be part of this move that God is launching through the kids. And so if that's speaking to you, register now, rootkidmen.com slash collective. These, these ministers that are speaking, I have the privilege of knowing every single one of them. And I can honestly say they have the heart of God and they're looking for places and people to equip with that same heart. Oh, no, I can't give it away. Tomorrow, there's going to be a big giveaway for anyone who signs up today or tomorrow. So if you sign, if you uh, register today or tomorrow, you'll be in the running to get, can I give it away yet? I, I can't give it away yet. All right. You'll have to wait tomorrow morning. I'll tell you about the big giveaway that is ridiculous. So register today you'll be automatically enrolled in this mysterious thing that I can't tell you till tomorrow. You'll learn, even if you don't win that, you're learning from Pastor Mark Harper, Pastor Eric Hamp. You're learning from my wife and I. We're learning from Jerry Moyer, who's been doing children's evangelism around the country, around the world even, um, for decades. And he is solid. He has some real things that he's noticing in the church that he can't, wait to be able to share with you. And then we have uh, Ray Baldwin. Oh my word, the way he does discipleship and trains up kids to train up kids and continue this uh, almost like a snowball effect of ministry and solid character and integrity and connection with God hearing God's voice. It's amazing. I mean, I could keep going on. We got Kidman Charlie. We got Angela Marks, we got Deborah uh, Perez, we got so many people that you're going. Oh, Tim Carpenter, how could I? Tim Carpenter is gonna. Be, he was sharing with me his two classes. Woo! Uh, yeah, you gotta register. Register today.